I'm sorry, web editor and comedian. Uh, web editor of The Onion and, and comedian, so here you go. The So my uh, pursuit is a lot less noble than Rachel's. Uh, everything I need to know about social media I learned from being at the swine flu on Twitter, a Baratunde production. Uh, essentially, I wanted to, uh, to be this influenza virus A, the first step in any social media campaign, get a good name. There were three other swine flu accounts on April 27, 2009. All three were legit. I created the satirical The Swine Flu. And your profile, branding your profile is very important. Name, The Swine Flu, location, fucking everywhere. Bio, bird shit, blue ain't got shit on me. And me, cute, angry photos of pigs. So everybody knows it's going to be a profane, adorable, arrogant flu. Alright, be provocative. <laughs> Very important to me, social media campaign. The first tweet, I'm gonna fuck you people up. Seriously, second tweet, now that I repeat, I'm going to fuck you up. Seriously, hashtag swine flu. Spread the message. Tap into what they call the conversation. And you start talking to people. So someone said I was taking jobs away from American diseases and I had to break down globalization to him. Uh, CDC was spreading lies about me. Dutch Master was challenging my, uh, my strength. I had to tell him I eat SARS for breakfast. Follow your target market. This is very important. I found a guy who was legitimately afraid of swine flu when I followed him, which meant he got an email that said, you are now being followed by the swine flu. Right? And to do stuff like that. Stay positive. A lot of companies go on Twitter and they get really worried about what we're going to say. I thank Matt Drudd for devoting all his coverage for three days to me alone. Mitt Romney followed me before I followed him back, which means he is dumber than I ever imagined. <laughs> and Tina Fey, she just does great stuff. Now, collaborate. I reached out to Uncle Rush. That's Russell Simmons. I said, first, thanks for being a vegan. Second, can we use hip-hop to spread my message? I reached out to Sockington and asked, what should we do after we kill all the people, Sockington? <laughs> You have to partner in social media for a reason. Now, people who are your followers and your fans, they want to know how successful you've been. So when I became a Phase 5 virus, I gave a shout-out to the whole Influenza Virus A fam. When I got onion coverage, and when I killed Kermit, I let my people know, because they want to know these things. Diversify. Now, Twitter is not at its hot right now, but Facebook, honestly, is a bit more viral, so I set up a Facebook fan page for the swine flu. Full profile, photos, events, notes, a wall, all kinds of background information on me as the baddest ass flu I knew online. Then I decided, let's take it up a notch. Let's host an event. So I threw a face licking party on Facebook. That's right, a face licking party to spread my message of death and destruction to the world. Hashtag face licking to tap into the conversation. Once again, now encourage participation. This was just beautiful. I got a voicemail line through Dropio for free. So people are hollering back on the phone about their parties. Somebody licked door to door magazine people and said Mormons are next, so I gave them a shout and then said why Mormons are good, they're natural swine flu vectors due to large family size and a tendency toward global travel. <laughs> Giving back is key, alright? Purell causes, uh, causes cancer, that's what I heard, and I was following the Jonas Brothers because I do like people believe though my job is to kill most of them. Now this is very important, ask the crowd for help. You don't know everything there is to know. So when I was in the Netherlands, I was looking for places to kick it. Someone recommended the red light district. When I was on the cover of Newsweek, I didn't have a copy. Somebody got it for me. Then went to Facebook, back to Twitter. It fulfills itself, people. It fulfills itself. Location, location. I'm checking in with Bright Kite. I'm checking in with Foursquare. In Hong Kong, I checked in. Visited the giant Buddha where I meditated on suffering. <laughs> Now this is deep. You gotta get personal. It's not all business, it's not all marketing, it's not all promotion. You know, things aren't always going well. Be real. Beware of the competition. This I did not foresee, but uh, the bird flu started talking shit about me. <laughs> Everybody thinks it's all about tweeting and Facebook, and when you get mainstream coverage in the Huffington Post, 
I did an interview, an actual interview, not the LA Times interviewed me on who would I like to kill and what have I been up to since 1976. So here's what happened in two weeks. Twitter, Facebook, Discuss, Dig, Gmail, a phone number. I got replies from Al Roker. I had thousands of followers. An interview in the Huffington Post, 160 people on my face licking party. All right, it was not a bad campaign, but obviously the swine flu, people stopped talking about me. It got really hard, and so I just wanted to remind folks about two weeks after I stopped, I threw this up. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. I will be back, bitches. <laughs>